John McCain will not cast his vote on the Republican tax overhaul this week, it was reported on Sunday. CBS News said the Arizona senator was heading home to spend the holidays with his family, after spending several days in hospital in Maryland because of side effects from his treatment for glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer. John Cornyn, the NO2 Republican in the Senate, earlier told ABC's This Week he was confident the Senate would pass the tax cuts, probably on Tuesday. Ben Domenech, a conservative writer who is McCain's son-in-law, told CBS Face the Nation on Sunday the 81-year-old was in good spirits. I'm happy to say that he's doing well, Domenech said. The truth is that as anyone knows whose family has battled cancer or any significant disease that oftentimes there are side effects of treatment that you have. The senator has been through a round of chemo and he was hospitalized this week at Walter Reed. Trump called Cindy McCain, the senator's wife, on Friday, the White House said. McCain and Trump have often been at odds since Trump criticized McCain for being captured during the Vietnam War. Earlier this year, McCain made a dramatic return from cancer treatment to cast a vote that helped defeat Republican health care repeal. However, he supported the tax bill that was pushed through the Senate despite Democratic protests. Without other absences or defections, McCain's absence would not put the bill agreed by House and Senate negotiators in danger. The GOP holds a 52-48 balance in the Senate, where the Democrat Doug Jones has not been seated since his shock win in the Alabama election. The Republican appointee Luther Strange remains in place. Potential Senate rebels came on side on Friday. Marco Rubio of Florida was satisfied on the issue of child tax credits. The self-professed budget hawk Bob Corker reversed his earlier opposition to a bill which independent analyses have said will add at least $1TN to the national debt over a decade. Corker told the International Business Times on Saturday he did not read the bill before he announced he would back it. On Sunday, Cornyn told ABC a provision added to the bill in conference that would likely be of financial benefit to Corker, Donald Trump and other wealthy Republicans was added as part of the attempt to cobble together the votes we needed to get this bill passed. Corker told the IBT he had not been aware of the provision when he changed his vote. Kevin Brady, the House of Representatives' top tax writer, said he believed his party had the votes to pass the bill and get it to Trump's desk before the end of the week. I think we are headed the American people are headed for a big win on Tuesday, Brady told Fox News Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiromo. We've worked hard to make sure that those strange Senate rules don't hang this up in any way. I am confident that's the case. If passed, the bill would be the biggest U.S. tax rewrite since 1986 and would provide Republicans and Trump with their first major legislative victory since they took control of the White House. Democrats have been unified against the measure, calling it a giveaway to corporations and the rich that would drive up the federal deficit.